Hi, this is Tui Z-O-E-A-Y and I'm going to uh, briefly show you how to flash the firmware with the uh, MD tools on the 380. Uh, I'm using a Vetivis uh, RT8 here uh, which is the same as the, uh, the TY, uh, TYT, the Tai Terra 380 there. I'm going to uh, gonna show you how easy it is to flash the firmware and to uh, install the, uh, the CSV files so that you can get all the call signs on your display. So, uh, here we have the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going uh, I'm gonna to put this uh, SD card in it, which I pre-prepared. Uh, I'm just running the uh, Raspbian, uh, uh, Raspbian Pixel uh, desktop on this uh, micro SD card, so uh, I'll just put that into the Pi here, like that, and uh, connect. Connect the uh, the programming cable for the radio into one of the uh, the USB ports. So that's the uh, that's the programming cable there. So I'm gonna plug that into the uh, the USB port here of the uh, the Raspberry Pi three. I'm using a Raspberry Pi three here, and uh, that's what I'm using. So uh, let me uh, just take the cover off uh, one moment. One moment. Uh, right, let me just take the cover off the side of the radio here. Right, let me uh, get something to take that off. I need a coin or something there. Uh, yeah, get a coin. Right, here we are. There we are, we've got a coin now to take the side of the radio off here. There we are. So we can unscrew that. Right then, so we'll take that off like that. And uh, we we'll plug the lead in. Like that. Now this is a this is a a keyboard full of tablet really, but uh, it's the ideal thing for what we're going to use it for. You've got a little uh, USB keyboard here, so uh, I will plug the uh, the USB cable uh, from the keyboard into the uh, the Raspberry Pi here. And uh, like that. So that's all set up, uh, you know, ready for the flash. Now then, let's turn on the Raspberry Pi. We'll put uh, some power. Like so. And uh, turn the TV on here. That should hopefully uh, come a bit closer there so you can see the TV. I'm going to show you... Uh, let me turn the uh, TV on here. As you can see, that's booted up uh, the Raspberry Pi. I'm running the uh, the Pixel um, Raspberry and uh, Jesse. I'm running the Pixel uh, Pixel uh, operating system on the Raspberry Pi three here. Uh, now then, get the mouse. I've got a little uh, wireless mouse here, which I use on the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. So we need to s select that little uh, icon there 
which is the terminal window and that brings a uh, that brings that uh, window up there. Uh, I've already installed the uh, WH6AV software onto the Raspberry Pi, but I'm going to show you uh, how to do it from scratch. So the first thing you want to do when you've opened the terminal window is you want to type sudo into there. sudo space A P T a little dash install and then git dash y. Now I've already installed this so it's gonna tell me that it's already installed but I'm going to do this as if uh, as if you was to install it. So if you press enter here, it's saying the command was not found. That might be because I've already installed the. Uh... So we'll go on the next step here. Let's. Uh... So it's the the next step. Step two is sudo space git. Clone and then I'm going to type the, uh, the the website address which is h t t p colon forward slash forward slash Hang on, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash like that. GitHub, git hub dot com forward slash WH six AV. Uh, this is uh, Jesse's software. Uh, who made uh, this uh, possible for us and uh, forward slash md380 dash radio so that's how it should um, should look when you've typed it all in and if you hit the enter key it will say that it already exists because I've already uh, I've already installed it but uh, if you if you didn't have it already installed, it will now be installed. So let's go on to step three. So uh, if we type cd space md three eighty dash radio and press enter, that will bring you into the MD380 uh, software which uh, which we just installed. So to execute the program, what we've just installed, we need to type another command which is sudo full stop forward slash and then the name of the file which is MD380 dash update because we're going to update the firmware so that's logged in as me welcome Christopher James Hall to his OEA and it brings the uh, it brings the uh, the software page up so we're logged into the software now uh, so if you if you have a look on there hopefully you can see on the screen there's all different uh, options you can choose um, on the on the first initial setup of the software, you want to be installing uh, step one, two, three, and four on the first setup. Once you've once you've installed step one, two, three, and four on the first setup, that that will make the the Raspberry Pi uh, make it ready for the flash. 
Now I've already done that, so I can skip uh, one, two, three, and four. I can go straight for the flush. So we're gonna uh, firstly we're gonna flush the firmware. So to flush the firmware, uh, we're going to we're gonna run option six because I'm using a, a radio with uh, with the GPS. If you're running a G, um, the radio, uh, the 380, without the GPS, uh, you must run option 5. Very important you get the right version. So I'm running uh, option 6 because I've got the one with the GPS. So I type a, uh, I type a 6 in here. Uh, so enter my choice. Alright, 6. Enter. Would you like to flash the firmware of your MD380G? Yes or no? So obviously I'm going to put yes and press enter. Please ensure USB cable is connected and put your radio in DFU mode. So uh, here we have the radio. The radio is connected to uh, the Raspberry Pi and we're now going to put it in DFU mode. And how we do this we hold the top two buttons here. So this button here and this button here. We press them two buttons together and we turn the radio on like that. Now that, the LED on the top is flashing from red and green. That's telling me that the radio is now in DFU mode. So it's ready to uh, have the firmware flash. So we are now in DFU mode, so we can press yes on the keyboard and press enter. So we're proceeding to update the firmware now. So uh, it's updating the firmware now. So the firmware uh, is up to date. So uh, it's, it, it's only a week ago since I did the firmware, so the firmware is up to date, the latest uh, firmware. Now then, uh, we, we switch the radio off, so we, we have the latest firmware on the radio, we're going to now flash the CSV file uh, to the latest version, and that is option 71. And what we need to do for this is we need to turn the radio into normal mode, so here we are, and uh, the radio is in ordinary mode. Uh, let it boot up, here we are, we're in ordinary mode on the radio. So uh, what we're going to choose on the uh, on the computer here, on the uh, Raspberry Pi, is option 71. Option 71 and press enter. And then it will ask you, would you like to flash the European user database? No, we don't. We want to uh, flash the worldwide. So I think I've typed, I think it might be 72. Try 72 and press enter. Yes, that's right, 72. And then it asks you, would you like to flash the worldwide DMR user bit database to your 380? So obviously we're going to type yes and press enter. Please ensure USB cable is connected. Wait in 10 seconds before the flash. So it's now downloading the latest uh, version, and that's it. It's installed the new uh, firmware. So we can unplug the uh, the cable, switch the radio on. There we are, MD three eighty tools, and uh, if you now go into the menu. U utilities, confirm, uh, there we are, MD380 tools, and there's a number of things you can change, the Roger Beep, uh, the boot option, CS, uh, date, CSV file, USB login, promissus mode, uh, you can edit your uh, ID, there are all the things you can do in the, the old version. This is the new version which we've uh, just installed. So we've got all these. Uh, the, uh, we, we can alter the side buttons on the radio, which are these now. Uh, you can alter the, alter the brightness of the back screen as well. 
and I'll show you another little feature which uh, this new firmware has installed. Um, if you press uh, number four, that will enable the last uh, the Torque Elias, to clear. Uh, you can press number five, and then uh, to go back to the main screen, you press number seven. Number eight will tell you your receive and your transmit frequency, and. Uh, what uh, time slot you're using there, uh, there, what time slot you're using if you press the 9 key. So some more little hidden features in the software there, but uh, to exit that you press number 7, and as I say, uh, press number 4 for the talk Elias here. Uh, there's no one, uh, I, I haven't got the radio connected at the moment, but uh, there we are, that's the new firmware. All the best to you and I hope that uh, helps uh, to uh, other users to uh, upload the uh, the CSV file and flash the firmware. This is 2E0EY, thanks for watching and please subscribe.